Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make my very favorite Honey Bee wine tumbler. It's honestly one of my favorite designs ever and I'm so excited to show you how to do this. So first I'm going in with CC DIY Pop of Color Paint. I'm using Morning Mimosa. I believe this color was actually in one of their subscription boxes, so it's not available on the website. But I figured that this was probably like one of the best colors of paint I could get to match, especially with the colder weather right now up in Wisconsin. It doesn't make really good for spray painting at the moment. And I know I'm going in, I'm like totally overdoing this paint. I'm so particular about my base paint that it just, it drives me nuts if I can't get like a really even coating. So after I've let my paint dry, I'm going in with adhesive apothecary glitter glue. Um, I absolutely love this. I'm actually using the thick version for this tumbler because like if I'm using a chunky glitter, I like to use the thick. If I'm using a fine or extra fine glitter, I like to use the thick the regular, but I don't know. I just, I absolutely loved it. And here I'm going in with Marigold from PDB Creative Studio. It's absolutely one of my favorite glitters. It's honestly like that it tops the charts. Like it beats any other glitter in my opinion, even, even my own stargazer. So here I'm just going in and I'm applying like a generous coat to my first layer also, when you do chunky glitter, make sure that you pat it down so you don't get any bits sticking up. It helps save you on layers of epoxy. It's so, so important to flatten your glitter. Now, the epoxy that I'm using is DIY Artisan Epoxy. I absolutely love it. It works so well for me, and it's, it's just one of my favorites. So what you're going to do is you're going to epoxy your tumbler until it's smooth. And then you're going to give it a nice generous coat of epoxy. This is important because when you put your alcohol inks on, you want them to flow. And if there isn't enough epoxy, it's not going to flow. I don't know why, but I also like to only use one finger when I'm applying my epoxy. I have this theory that I waste less epoxy when I do that. So here I am going in with White Lucid from Jen's Crafted Gems. Over top of that, I am using, I believe it's a Sunshine and Dijon from Tim Holes Alcohol Inks. This is only because I, I wanted to use PDB inks. However, I was an idiot and I haven't used my inks in months. And uh, pro tip, make sure that you put the caps back on your inks so that way they don't dry out because that's exactly what I did. So I was pretty mad at myself that I did not get to use PDB inks for this. You can tip your cup if you want to try and adjust the flow. And another important tip that I like to use for this tumbler is I like to lay the white ink down first before I put down the yellow. I find that it really helps color some of the white and give it a better flow. Next, all you have to do is cut out the word buzzed in your favorite font. I just used a random font from the Cricut app. And don't come at me for using my Cricut. My grandma gave me this Cricut and it has never failed me. I'm chalking it up to grandma luck. So I'm just applying my buzzed word onto the tumbler. It doesn't matter what font you use. I just picked one that I thought was cute. I struggled with it because like there's 50 million fonts to choose from, but this is the one I went with. After that, you're going to want to give it a nice good coat of epoxy so you can seal in that vinyl. I usually end up doing about two coats because I like to do just a thinner coat sometimes but it, it all depends on what it takes and you just got to seal that vinyl. If you're wondering about my turner I am using a Dino's quick release turner. I highly recommend Dino's. They're my absolute favorite. They're one of the best 
tumbler turner companies that you can find out there and they make just amazing quality products so here i'm going in i'm going to choose where i'm going to put these little bee charm things that i got off amazon now i got a little off camera here but i'm just adding liquid fusion to the back of it and after tapping it a couple times i realized i didn't put enough liquid fusion on so i just added more this isn't going to be what's going to like hold your little bee charm on eventually i'm going to put uv resin on top of it but this is just to adhere it now for my little flight trail that i'm using for my bees i'm using jelly black three millimeter rhinestones from pdb creative studio honestly these are just so cute and they add just the perfect accent to this tumbler i'm so excited because this is the first time i've added 3d elements to this design and it turned out so cute the rhinestone pen that i'm using is the pdb rainbow tool you can find it on their website they sell extra tips it's so amazing i love it it's honestly just one of the best rhinestone pens i've ever used in my life and you can make your flight trail any way that you want i like mine kind of loopy to swirl all over you don't want to put your rhinestones too close together because you want to add an element you don't want it to be like a main line going through um i think if i were to make this tumbler again i would probably put a b like right above the buzzed word like right on the corner so that way next time i take pictures of it like you can see that b element that is the one thing that i wish i had done when i did this because i feel like I, I really wanted to capture the fact that it was a bee tumbler, and I just, I did not get that in my photo. Also, just a heads up, from this angle, it was really hard to see where I placed my liquid fusion, so just keep in mind, there's going to be a bit of a glare, and just keep an eye out for where you placed your liquid fusion. Now I know I don't show it in this video because I didn't realize that my phone died while I was filming, but I did go in with UV resin afterwards and I covered my bees just to make sure that they stayed on the tumbler. I didn't want them to pop off or fall off, but it's really important that you seal those in. Once you've done all that, wait 24 hours so you can let the rhinestones cure onto your tumbler and clean your cup up, clean it all up, and it's ready to go. I hope you guys had so much fun making this tumbler with me. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and go check out my Facebook group. Bye guys!